Hello, good evening friends. God bless you. I was reading uh, Matthew chapter 28, um, verse 16 to end of that chapter, uh, 16 to 20. Uh, we call it a great, great commission. But something uh, caught my eye was uh, verse 17. It says that when they saw, I mean disciples, when they saw Jesus, they worshiped worshipped him but some had doubts so he, here is the disciples Jesus told them to go to certain mountain in Galilee they did went now after his resurrection they have seen Jesus first time there were 10 disciples Thomas was not there and 10 believed and then they told that Jesus has resurrected Thomas says that I will not believe until I put my hands in his um, uh, in his scars, my finger in his scars, and then second time Jesus appeared to Thomas and invited Thomas to to test and believe, and Thomas believed, and then Jesus said that, "Blessed are those who has not seen me and still believed." So at that moment, all the eleven disciples they believed that Jesus is God. Jesus has resurrected from dead, but then. If when you come to Matthew 28, these 11 are gathered on a mountaintop. Jesus came there. Uh, it's time for Jesus' ascension to heaven. So time has passed between resurrection and the ascension. And that moment, they worshiped Jesus and they truly worshiped him. But at the same time, scripture says that they had doubt. Now, what doubt was there? And when I look into the scriptures, uh, I, I realize that the Greek word used for doubt there is called bistazo. Bistazo means unwaver, uh, sorry, wavering or hesitant. So what was the hesitation? Or if you call it a doubt, what was the doubt there? Because they have believed Jesus after resurrection. So now what has happened? If you read other gospels, particularly Gospel of John, you see that where Jesus told his disciples that as my father has sent me, I am sending you. Now, why Father God has sent Jesus on this earth, we know that for salvation, that is true. But Jesus' message, Jesus' ministry was to fulfill his missions. And his mission was not to have the, the, the kingdom of God to come near to people, let people know that the, that kingdom of God is real, and then make people understand that because Jesus is dying, he is sacrificing himself, that kingdom of God, they can enter, they can experience. And Jesus was doing his mission by healing the people, healing the sick, setting the captive free, healing the lepers, and even raising dead. So when Jesus said that, um, as my father has sent me with this mission, I am sending you and you will do the same thing. And disciples were like hesitant. Yeah, Jesus, that, that's true. But um, there were an incident had happened where the disciples tried to cast out demon and they were unsuccessful. So they had a track record that they tried and it did not work one time. So they were hesitant that Jesus, yes, you are telling us to heal the sick, open the eyes of blind, set the captive free and raise it how we can do that. And that moment Jesus said that, listen guys, all authority is given to me on heaven and earth, on earth. And I will be with you. So that means when you pray for sick people, I will be there. When you try to open the eyes for a blind, I will be there. When you try to cast out demons, I will be there. When you raise the dead, I will be there. Now, fast forward, if you go to book of Acts, it is a fascinating book, particularly chapter 9. Did disciples did that? And if you read chapter 9, if you wanted to, there is a evidence there. There is a guy named Aeneas who was paralyzed. And Peter said, hold his hand and says that in Jesus' name, be healed and walk out. Pick up your bed and walk. And he did got healing instead healing. 
There was in Acts chapter 9, there is a girl named Tabitha. She, she was dead. And, and Peter went and told her to wake up. And she was resurrected from dead. Now Peter was a fisherman. But now he understands that what Jesus has said that I will be with you. And Jesus has promised that as, if I go, uh, it is good for you that I will send the Holy Spirit that will be with you always. And Jesus himself said that I will be with you. So it's a so much encouraging thing to notice that yes, in the beginning, they had a doubt. Yes, they had in the beginning, they had a hesitation. They were wavering, but they believed what Jesus said, said to them that I will be with you. And they were healing the people. They were raising dead. And that promise is for you and me too. Jesus is saying to you and me that all authority is given me in heaven and earth. Go heal the sick. Open the eyes of blind. Set the captive free. Cast out demons. Raise the dead. And I will be with you. God bless you. Thank you.